as we know and realize that a cyberspace or a cyber society can be affected or is impacted by cyber crime uh, in order to you know effectively deal with that cyber crime we need cyber laws and therefore in this lecture let's have an introduction to cyber law let's first define what a cyber law is cyber law refers to all the legal and regulatory aspects of the internet as well as its users now as uh, i said earlier that when you know the cyberspace or the cyber society which which you know came into uh, which which took birth with the advent of internet is affected and impacted by cyber crime naturally in order to best combat uh you know the downsides or of uh, that cyber crime or in order to serve as a deterrent in several cases we need cyber law let's still look at some specific examples which will make the case for having effective cyber laws even more clear for instance as an example let's uh, let there could be a you know a situation of a cyber murder now what what can be a cyber murder a hacker for instance changes the value of insulin in a patient's online prescription who was admitted in the hospital and the nurse injects that quantity and the patient expires now this is just one extreme example of a cyber crime where it can lead to a murder looking at other uh, you know issues where effective cyber laws are needed uh, one of the backbones uh, of our economy is business and commerce and with the advent of internet we have all increasingly moved or or let's say a major part of economy now is e-commerce and e-business so in order to you know to ensure uh, safety and security for the e-commerce we require cyber law uh, then there are several other regulatory issues uh, there are unprotected emails there is there is social media where where from bullying to stalking to identity theft various things uh, can take place then we need laws to you know let's say to prevent hate speech to prevent cyber terrorism to prevent uh, software piracy to prevent unauthorized video streaming moving on we need cyber laws to prevent email spoofing email spamming we need cyber laws in order to regulate various kinds of financial crimes in order to reg regulate online gambling we need cyber laws in order to you know monitor and prevent the sale of illegal items and articles we need effective laws in order to safeguard people from forgery from cyber defamation from cyber stalking moving on uh, you know we need effective cyber laws to prevent denial of service attacks which tend to affect individuals as well as businesses we need cyber laws to prevent individuals businesses uh, you know those with with uh, which are using uh, home computers from trojan attacks from viruses from worms uh, we need cyber laws in order to you know combat data diddling you know which is which is you know a change in a certain data entry into a certain system by let's say uh, a malicious virus uh, we need effective cyber laws in order to prevent intellectual property kind uh, uh, crimes in order to you know uh, in order to handle cyber disputes in order to prevent unauthorized accesses to computer systems and in order to prevent salami attacks just as an example of some of the the types and kinds of cyber crimes which may exist or which are being which are happening around us as i also mentioned earlier that a news report suggests that in pakistan alone the last 3 years have witnessed an increase of cyber crime by 83% and it is estimated that worldwide the amount uh, of losses financial as well as uh, you know non monetary uh, as a result of cyber crimes is going to increase uh, increase uh, many fold in the coming years let's now look at how the cyber regulation or cyber uh, laws have evolved over time uh, united nation commission of international trade laws un, UN citral came into being in 1966 to start off with then it was based on those that model laws on e-commerce came into being in 1996 and model laws on e-signature came into being in 1996 as well further world intellectual property organizations copyright rules came into being in 1996 similarly world intellectual property 
organization's performance and phonograms treaty rules also came into being in 1996. Both these copyright rules as well as performance and phonogram treaty rules regulate copyright infringements and trademark issues. Uh, moving from these, from this effort by the World Intellectual Property Organization, as well as the United Nations, which gave these model laws, uh, in 1998, Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, ICANN, gave uniform domain name dispute resolution policy in the US. Uh, carrying on from here, uh, well, this uniform domain name disputes and resolution policy is, you know, adopting or is helping implement the WIPO, World Intellectual Property Organization's uh, copyright rules and treaty. Uh, it, is in, in, it is helping in implementing that in US. Carrying on from this, uh, DMCA, which is Digital Millennium Copyright Act, uh, is, is, you know, uh, is again, uh, you know, extending on these, uh, these, this uh, copyright rules and treaty by WIPO and that has been enacted in the US in 1998. In a similar fashion, European Copyright Directive, EUCD, was implemented in 2001, which again is helping implement WIPO's copyright rules and treaty. Uh, then Information Technology Act in India are the major, uh, you know, major law or rules which are regulating, uh, you know, the cyber crime or their major cyber laws prevalent in India from year 2000. Uh, Pakistan too has over time realizing the importance of having effective cyber laws, you know, presented and, and passed its own ordinances and laws. The first one was ETO, Electronic Transaction Ordinance, which was passed in 2002. This was the first of any kind of IT related uh, regulation and laws which were passed in Pakistan. And while they were largely based on the cyber laws of foreign countries, they were nevertheless dealing with 43 different kinds of cyber crime. Uh, there was an improved version of it in the form of uh, Prevention of Electronic Crime Ordinance, which came in 2008. And then finally, in 2016, there was Prevention of Electronic Crime Ordinance, which provides a very comprehensive framework to deal with cyber crime. These cyber regulations in Pakistan deal with various kinds of cyber crime, including, uh, you know, cyber terrorism, cyber stalking, identity theft, denial of service attacks, uh, cyber stalking, cyber bullying, and several to name. Uh, as per Prevention of Electronic Crime Ordinance 2016, for various offenses, there is jail time, there is large amounts of fine, and, and you know, the good part, uh, the upside is, that these side that this an effective implementation of these cyber laws are preventing a lot of uh, let's say damage which could have occurred in their absence